I wanted to do a quick update of my truck. I had a lot of questions that I want to address uh, from the first video that I did, and I just finished, uh, what have we been in here, 10 days? 10 days sleeping in this thing. I have a really good idea of what I liked and what I didn't like and things that I would do differently. So, uh, first of all, the truck. I got a lot of questions about what it is. This is a Ram 1500 short bed, uh, five foot seven inch bed, which leads me to one of the things that I didn't like is me laying in it, it fits me perfectly. So my head is against the cab and my feet are against the tailgate and I can't lay my feet flat because it's the same height as me. So that's not ideal. It's not perfect. I mean, it's not terrible. I slept fine, but there were times when I wanted to just really stretch out and you can't, so whatever, I'm sleeping in a truck bed. It's not the end of the world. But the other thing that I didn't like, the mattress is, uh, so w what I ended up doing, if you saw the first one, there's basically a three inch piece of foam in here. And then this is a two inch mattress topper. So there's a three inch piece of foam, half of this two inch mattress topper, and then the other half is right here. So I, I don't know how much I have, but it wasn't enough. Um, when I sleep on my side, my hips, I could feel the, I, I was hitting my hips on the on the plywood deck here. So that wasn't great. So I'm gonna have to kind of redo my mattress. I need something a little bit more substantial or I need to put an air mattress, like a camping, camping mattress or something under there. And that would stop that. So those are the two real downsides that I saw. Um, the camper top leaks. This is a Lear, I don't remember which model, but it's the one that bumps up and it leaks so i gotta take it back to the factory and have them redo it other than that i love the bed rug keeps it clean i got this idea this full bed rug from my buddy dave toms uh, dave t 1963 on youtube he does cool cool videos he told me to get the full bed rug and i did and i freaking love it you can crawl around here when you're when you're getting stuff in and out and it doesn't hurt your knees so this is a big win bed rug my little gear table ended up working out great. This is exactly what I did when I got here. I pulled it out, put up my trekking poles, and I have my table and I got everything ready. And now when it's time, we're packing up today to go home so I can break it back out, get all my stuff put away, cleaned, and it'll be ready for the next trip. So basically, I'll put everything clean, organized, right where it belongs. I'll put the lids on it. And when I get home, those will go straight in the garage. And then when it's time for the next trip, all I got to do is load them back in, and I know that everything worked great trying to think what else went wrong nothing i love my little mat i got made fun of my buddies here in camp they laughed at me because i had a welcome mat but it kept the inside pretty clean and my little five dollar step stool from amazon freaking was awesome because i have smurf legs so helping a smurf get up into the truck bed at night was awesome so this is pretty much how i lived i would i left left this right here and then we'd go out and we'd go hunting every day in my truck and then at the end of the day, I'd back it up and basically just come and I'd be, be ready to go. Oh, the other thing I want to show you guys. I didn't show this in the first video, but this was money. You have to do this. So I drilled a hole in the side of my camper. This is a, this is a marine through plug. And you can see all it is is, a, is a, it's just a 110 volt port waterproof i silicone this and then it's screwed into the cap i just drilled a hole following their directions it didn't leak even slightly and you can see on the inside what it has pull this can you see that jared you can so here's the plug it comes through and you just get a you just get a, a, a plug right here so i bought a uh, a strip a power strip that has usb ports in it so i can plug my phone and everything else up into that so now i have power in the cab uh at an rv site where we have power i can just plug that thing right into the outside and i have all the power that i need that is awesome i wish i'd have done that uh in the first video but i hadn't had that finished yet so this is sweet i really really am glad i did that other than that that's pretty much it if you guys have questions or you want to know more um just hit me up in the comments and i'll respond as quickly as i can and give you any uh any more direction but this is like all my camping and i got pots and pans and i got the jet oil and an awesome coffee pot that works really really good this mocha pot freaking sweet 
and uh yeah just all the randos that you really kind of need for camp life um trash bags and 550 cord and all that kind of stuff it's pretty much all lives in here and in the first video i did i'm pretty sure i put a link to a spreadsheet with all the stuff that's in here if not i'll put that in the description below so you guys can see what all i'm taking with me and honestly i didn't really need anything other than what i did decide is i'm going to get a gear tent because uh, i had to pull all my hunting gear out and i think i'm going to carry a little small pop-up tent so i can throw all that stuff for when it rains all my gear is, is dry uh, other than that that's it so thanks for watching hopefully this helped you guys get a little bit more information about how the truck bed camper worked and we'll catch you guys on the next video you guys get outdoors